Crazy toys sell for crazy prices all the time. Today we're going to show you one of the craziest, maddest toys out there from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today we're talking about crazy toys, something that sold back in the day for only a few dollars. Nowadays sells for a ton of money. So here we are with Mad Balls. These are by Am Toys, American Greeting Company. They make a lot of other stuff, a lot of paper items. This was very popular, and these were brought over from overseas. Japan in that area had some of these that go back to 1970s. This is something that was extremely popular back in the day in the 70s and 80s. There were a ton of knockoffs. These are the original ones here. And as you can see, $887. It's a lot, so there's quite a few of them. There's many different sizes and shapes and themes for these also. Now here's a Mattel's version of this, Mamba Zombie. Very, very, very scarce. There's two actually in this lot. These are the Japanese imports over to here. Very scarce, $1,500 for these two, sealed in the box from 1987. Now here's a lot of seven of these. These are by Soma, which is a competing company. These are basically knockoffs of the original Amtoy versions. There's mad collectors of these things out there. You will be surprised. These show up even at flea markets, thrift stores still in the big bins of toys, even to this day. So this is one area that you can usually score out on stuff like this. Some of them are smaller, some are big like actual basketball or football also, but these are very, very collectible. Still $570 for this lot of seven. Now here's another original. This one is graded as well. AFA graded 85 near mint. Very nice example here. This is a Am Toys as well from 1985. Rather unique. These can go for some good money. This one sold for $350. Now here's a lot of two tales from the Crypt Monster Balls. These are by another company. This is KO Toys. They made some, I guess you would say, more generic styles of other toys as well. Very collectible. They don't show up very often. Even if these are newer, they're still hot items at this point. $300 for these two right here. Now here's another Soma, and as I said, these are knockoffs of the original Am Toys. These came out at the same time as Am Toys as well, all from the Asian market, if I'm not mistaken. Most of these were made in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and things like that. Very, very collectible, well detailed, well done. $300 basically on this one. Now, along with the Mad Balls, they created baseball bats that went along with them. This is one of the examples here. Rather unique. You can run into these on their own. $269 with one of the weird eyes that go with it as well. Now, this one had storage in the back, and it would hold three of the balls in the back as well. Rather interesting piece. This is from the original line, Freak Bat, here. I have run into the bats on their own occasionally. Any of these sell for good money. Now, also in the 80s, Mad Balls decided to make action figures where the ball part, the Mad Ball itself, would be the head of the figure. And this is a tricycle or roller cycle, I guess you would say, for these. And you can see how they work. The head pops on and off, and you can use it as a Mad Ball. It can be tossed in a catapult that came with this roller cycle so rather interesting two hundred and fifty dollars as is with all of the pieces now here's another one this is a knockoff as well two hundred and forty five dollars ten bids a lot of these resemble say some of the godzilla style monsters of the vintage japanese era of toys just a really nice example on this one here now here's another lot of them mad manny included mad balls knockoff rubber faces the whole works there are six of them plus a little one 237 dollars and 50 cents these show up in bins all the time i guess that would be the best place the toy bins and things those big tubs and totes now here's a first run mad balls this is an original oculus orbis this is made out of vinyl rubber the second run of these were made out of foam much cheaper easier to ship they weighed less the whole works so the real rubber ones are the first runs of any of these and they are worth the most money $225 now here's a lot of eight plus the handbook this is from Canada $223 these do look to be foam versions. still a very nice example of these 
Now this one's titled Meet the Uglies, All Blue Eyes. This is a Mamba, which is a company name as well. I believe Mattel made these in Japan. Rather interesting. This goes way back to the freakouts from the 60s, which were the Mark's toy lines of monsters and oddball creatures. Anything odd or crazy like this goes for some good money. $200 for this one. You can find many examples of this specific one here selling for decent money almost any day of the week. Just like any other field, the carded ones do go for more money. Here's a perfect example of Screamin' Mimi. This is carded, as you can see, it has the original price sticker on it, $19.85, $200 on this one. Had this been loose, $50, $60, bucks, somewhere in that range at the most, probably. They also put out another line called Super Mad Balls, which were much larger. This is about the size of a Nerf football. This one sold for $200 in the package. These aren't quite as popular as the smaller ones. That's the ones most people remember. It's a little later to 1986. And here's a lot of two different sizes. The big basketball one is much larger than the standard one you will find. $189.98. They all had names as well. There are guides for some of these which you can find online which will tell you the names, the varieties, show you pictures of what the packages look like as well. Now here's Ghoulville Bat. I do remember this one. This is one of the more popular ones. This one sold for $180 on its own. Would have come with a couple of balls also. Just a fine example. These will show up sometimes beat up and marred but people will still buy them i've seen people repair and retouch the paint on these as well really fine example here's another one of the super mad balls this is about the size of a soccer ball so from one side of this you could get away with looking at a soccer ball when you flip it around you can see what it is that's the unique part of this goal eater soccer ball and it sold for basically 170 dollars and the last one here is another one of the bats. This is a Count Dracula, a purple version of it. Rather unique, interesting style. They all sell. So if you run into something like this, always pay attention, even with damage, which this one does have some minor ones. These were meant to be played with, so they will have damage to them many times, especially the bats, because kids just whack those into trees and all kinds of things. But either way, even in that sort of condition, they still will sell. They just don't show up very often these days anymore at all. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Best equipped boys in the field. All the equipment you need for fun and excitement in the Gung Ho Commando Outfit by Marks. Just look at all the things you get. There's a battle map and direction finding compass. A cap shooting automatic with gun belt and holster. A helmet, a canteen, complete mesquite and poncho. You get a cat firing Gung Ho hand grenade. Gung Ho! And look here. This flashing battery powered machine gun with moving ammo belt shoots rapid fire bullets. There's a real looking walkie talkie too, and a field pack. You got non-com stripes, medals and battle ribbons, even dog tags. It's all for fun and excitement. Gung Ho! Get the outfit with all the equipment you need. The Gung Ho Commando Outfit. Gung Ho! By Marks.